Good day students, welcome to Practical Research 1, Week 1, Module 1, Qualitative Research Lesson. I am Ruel D. Ignacio, your Practical Research 1 teacher. Okay, so this week we will be talking more about the introductory concepts or topics about research. It is said that the world is facing a lot of problems these days that requires immediate solution, there are questions arising that needs an answer, and there are cases that are to be solved. So in this aspect, research becomes more important, no? especially if we are facing today the COVID-19 pandemic. The vaccine that we are using today is a product of a productive and innovative research of the different scientists or researchers. At this point, let us define the learning objectives for this lesson. First, you are going to share research experience and knowledge. Second, explains the importance of research in daily life. Next, describes characteristics, processes, and ethics of research. Fourth, differentiate qualitative from quantitative research. Next is, you are going to provide examples of research in areas of interest and describes characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of qualitative research. And lastly, you have to illustrate the importance of qualitative research across fields. Okay. Before we proceed to the lecture proper, let us answer first the pretest uh, pre in your learning module, by which the answer key is being provided at the back of your module. So by, by answering this module, try to refer with your module or individual module from the start up to the last part of this uh, lecture. For question number one, which of the following is not an importance of research? A. It gives us light to inquire for the right information. B. It helps us develop the right attitude, not believe in anything. C. Empowers us with knowledge and new learning. And D. None of this. So as it mentioned, from A to C, all of these are the importance of research. So therefore, the answer is letter D. None of this. For number two, which importance of research is described in the statement below? Results of research help us to mark out the thin line between truth and lie. The correct answer for this item is letter C, to know the truth. Okay, for number three, which importance of research is described in a statement below? Research creates change as a result of intense study on existing knowledge and policy. For number three, the correct answer is to make changes. Okay, number four. Which of the following refers to the characteristics of research to be orderly based on procedures and principles? Number four answer is letter B. It's systematic. For number five, what characteristic of research is shown in the statement below? Research is based on direct experience by the researcher. The correct answer for number five is letter A. It's empirical. For number six, what ethical principle in research refers to being open to criticism and new ideas? The correct answer for number six is letter D. Openness. For number seven, which of the following does not belong to the group? Qualities, behaviors, complexities, quantities. Number seven, it's letter D, it's quantities. Number eight, what type of questions are oftentimes asked in a qualitative type of research? For number eight, the correct answer is letter A, it's why and how. Number nine, what are the interests? What are or what area of interest 
should you focus if you want to determine statistical profiles of the Philippine population in the past years. In the past years is letter A. You should check on the history. For number 10, what are or what area of interest should you focus if you want to determine the relationship between sales and advertisement? Number 10, sales and advertisement, it's business. For number 11, what characteristic of qualitative research refers to this ability or the ability to seek understanding without judgment? Number 11, it's letter A. It's empathetic neutrality. Number 12, which kind of qualitative research refers to an inductive technique developed for health-related topics? For items number 12, the correct answer is letter A. It's grounded theory. 13, which kind of qualitative research refers to the systematic collection on objection evaluation of data related to past occurrence? It's letter 13, it's letter B, it's case study. For number 14, which kind of qualitative research refers to a dated study of specific subjects such as person, group, place, and organization? It's letter C, historical research. And the last item, 15, what kind of qualitative research Research refers to a method often used in social sciences to gather data on human societies or cultures. It's letter D. Human societies or cultures is letter D. It, it's ethnography. Okay. So, our topic for the lesson one is importance and characteristics of qualitative research. To start with, we will be starting to do your activity one word search by which you're going to find at least five hidden words in this puzzle and try to define each and write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. So this is the box or the puzzle box for you to identify or locate some hidden words related to our topic for this session. Okay. Let us start the discussion for this topic. No? The main purpose of research is to inform action, to prove a theory, and to contribute to the developing knowledge in the field or study. It is of great importance in all fields of specialization for it helps us to seek truth, information, and knowledge. No? Sa sumo nga panahon, kung lang tawa na ito, no, ang um, tanan nga ara sa aton nga palibot, no? ang pinaka or almost give nga ara sa aton palibot is the product of research no research allows individuals to capture ways of looking at ideas and issues and to think creatively about problems that have no simple answer it paves way to new ideas and discover of things that will benefit man above all okay now, for example, na ang pinaka-basic, bala nga ginaobra natin, kung nag-research kita or nag-kanda kita research is we are tasked to find meaning of words in the internet. It is a simple form of inquiry that can be considered a simple research. But in the sense for this study or in the context of this subject, research is presented to a more deeper understanding no kung ano gibal ang boss imam bal kita nga research no dako ang mabulig sa research no sa aton nga community sa aton nga komunidad no halin sang pinaka simple nga pangabuhi until such time no halos tanan mahapos na and that is because or utang naton tungod sa research no because of the inquisitive mind or tama ka mapinamang katunon nga 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 parumduman sang tawo nagakaimbinto kita sa mga bagay-bagay nga aton subong nga enjoy and that is one of the greatest no importance of research in our daily life no in almost all specialization or parties sa aton nga kabuhi bilang tawo sa kalibutan no almost all aspect is 
is product some research. Okay, at this point, what is really the meaning of research? Okay, research is a careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or problem using a process of inquiry. Remember this key term, using a process of inquiry or ang pagpamangkot, no? Remember that everything is researchable and it started with a question mark, no? Nagaumpisa ang tanan nga naimbinto dili sa aton nga kalibutan paagi sa isa ka pamangkot. For example, ang tuman nga kaginot, nga man maginot. Ano ang obra ko nimo para di ka maginutan? Siyempre mamaypay ka. Aside sa kinakapuyan ka na mamaypay, ano pagit ang pwede mahimoon na mas mapahapos ang pagpamaypay na hindi ka makapoy kag magiging comfortable ikaw no sa pagpahangin. Dra nagwa si electric fan, si aircon. It's because of a simple question which leads to the discovery of new things that brought changes or nag naghatag or nagdala sa pagbago no sa aton nga pangabuhi. Okay. According to the American sociologist na si Earl Robert Bobby, research is a systematic inquiry. Okay, hambal ya ang research kuno is systematic inquiry. Ko mama, maghambal kita nga systematic mo silingon may sistema. Kung may sistema mo silingon may ginasunod ikaw nga method. Okay. Hambal ya systematic inquiry to describe No, to describe, explain, predict, control, and observe phenomena. No, i describe ni mo, i ilarawan ni mo, mahabang nga predict, i mo ibanta banta, i control ni mo or ang pagmanipulate ni mo sa mga mga variables na mga bagay-bagay and observation can also be used in conducting. Research, no. Simply, sa pag-observe sa palibot mo, you can conclude something, no. Example, nga aman, nga aman nagkalapata yung isda sa dera nga sa inyo nga fish pond, no. Try to observe ano ang mga rason. So that is simply sa amo na abagay nagawbra na ikaw or nagakandak na ikaw sa ang research. Okay. What is the importance of research in daily life? It is said that research plays a very important role in our daily life. It gives us light to inquire for the right information. Tama, no? Importante sa subong mga panahon, no? We are surrounded by fake news, no? Bilang isa ka youth, dapat ka balok kita mag mag scrutinize kung inabalat to or hindi, and we can find out kung to or na kung hindi through research by looking or by inquiring for the right. Information. It helps us to develop the right attitude to not believe in anything easily, and most especially, it empowers us with knowledge and efficient learning of new things. No, pagi sa research niyan tuluan kita. No, bilang bilang estudianti, no, bilang isa ka individual ng dapat hindi dalit dalit ng magpati paghambal nila nga ay nag nag eclipse to giging kaon sa bakunawa ang bulan. No, kung hindi kita mag mag research scientifically, we will not know the reason why nga aman may nag-occur nga eclipse, nga aman may solar eclipse, nga aman may lunar eclipse. Well, that is because of finding what is true or what is true, no? And what is right information. To assimilate more, let us discover the different importance of research in our daily life. Number one, gain essential information. Makakuha kita sa importante nga informasyon, no? Sa tanan-tanan ni area, sa aton nga kabuhi. It helps us get acquainted with the process and resources involved in our research, no? When, when we are conducting, or if you are to conduct a research, no? You, you will be gaining essential information Based on the topic or field of specialization you are chosen, or you have chosen. 
Second, to make changes, no? Okay? Ano na sa ang pinaka-basic nga nasun nga aman, may research, or nag-conduct kita research, at is to make changes para may baguhon kita. No? Example, sa mga problem nga ala sa palibot na ito, nga aman nagadamo ang basura, paano ma-minimize ang basura? So, we will conduct research about that. And, eventually, it can create change, no? Either, madula ang basura or kung hindi madula, ma-minimize ang paglaktas ang basura. Okay. Third, to enhance the standard of living. So, doon yung masulod ang mga inventions natin nga nagapahapo sa aton na kabuhi. Sa una, kung maging utan ikaw, tuduhay ka pa papangayab o pamaypay. Subong maging utan ka, saksa ka electric fan, paandar, hayahay ang buhay. No? Okay, sang una, madapong dapong ka pa, subong, may gimbahal ka mo nga, ano, nga rice cooker, makilis ka lang, masunad, masaksak, then luto na yung mga tinigang. So that is one of the benefits or the many benefits of research in our life. It enhances our standard of living. Iban nga palakpak lang, masig ang suga. Iban, mahamba lang, madrive ang salakyan. That is to enhance our standard of living. Okay, number four, for a safer life. Okay, discoveries resulted to improve life expectancy and health conditions of humankind. Now, because of research, no, iban na kabuhi sa tao naga mas na palawig pa. No, sa una ko ay pang dialysis. For example, kung may sakit ka sa bato, pila lang ka simana, bulan imutiner, patay ka na yun. Subong, may kwarta ka, kag kung may sakit ka sa bato, or may kidney failure ka, then you will undergo dialysis. Pwede ka pa maglawig 2 to 3 years. No, that's how to make our life more safer. No, that is for health. No, mga new machines, ang mga bulong nila pang invento. See? mga treatment, no, kag mga diagnosis sa mga diseases or mga sakit. Okay, next is to know the truth. So, pinaka-basic pagid para mahibaluan mo kung ano ang kamatuuran. Para mahibaluan mo kung ano ang, kung ano ang fake news kag ang uh, legit na nga balita, no? Okay, six, to explore the history. Okay, so through research, it enables human to learn and understand more about our forefathers and help us learn from their mistakes and experiences. So through research, we can explore history. Mabalikan natin ang nagliligat. Mabalikan natin, ay, huu, amon nagliligat ang naging halinan, amon nila at ito dati nga aman, gaamo kita sini. We can understand nga aman, a certain, a certain, um, a certain population is behaving like that. It's because We have a background knowledge or information by the help of research of what kind of life and how are they during their time, no? Okay, lastly, to understand the arts. Research helps us to understand and appreciate the work of artists in literature, painting, and other fine arts. Through research, we can deeply understand the meaning behind those masterpieces. No? Ano ang meaning sa drawing sa Mona Lisa ni Leonardo da Vinci? No? Mas mga bagay kisa, no? may mga scientific explanation nga man amun ang pagdrawing niya. Those are few examples of how important research not only in our daily existence but also to art appreciation. Okay. Those are the seven characteristics, or those are the seven importance of research in our life. Now let's proceed to the characteristics of research. So we have five characteristics. Number one is empirical. May ambal kita ng empirical, amo ni sa ang research which is based on direct experience or research ka according or base sa imo nga na-experiencehan or base sa imo nga observation. That is, mga mga empirical. Kung baga, real life situation na imo ginabasihan, hindi lang hambal-hambal, hindi lang hindi lang ulo istorya, no? It is empirical. Ang research mo dapat empirical kung ina nakabase no, sa real life situation or sa kamatuuran. Second, systemic, no? 
mga mga system, make my system. May sistema. Bukod sa lingon, may gina, sunod ikaw nga, orderly procedure, no? Based on based on the valid procedures and principles, no? May sistema siya, bukod sa lingon, sa science, ganit may gatawag kita nga, scientific method. That's why, tanan nga research, no? May ginasunod na sa nga, scientific method, no? In conducting Research. Okay, number three, controlled. In research, all variables except those that are tested are kept constant. No, sa controlled naman, na may tawag kita ng controlled variable. No, mga mga variable, those are part of your research. No, ng 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 ginatest naton. But there are things that are kept. Constant. Example, ang edad sa imong responden hindi mo na pwede nga mabago, but the responses no are sometimes controlled. Okay. Number four, analytical research utilizes proven analytical procedure in gathering the data. Bahama analytical that is or that goes analyzation or gin analyze sa sang masusi. No, nag-agi siya sa in-chapter nga analytical procedure nga wala lang nag-jump into conclusion. And number five, pinaka-importante, research is to be objective. Bukos sa lingon, hindi bias, hindi unfair. All findings are logically based on data. Wala mag-ubra-ubrahan tungod kay hindi mo gusto ang resulta sa iyong mga research. So, research should be objective. Okay. So next, the process of research. There are a variety of approaches to research in any field of investigation, irrespective of whether it is applied research or basic research. So each particular research study will be unique in some ways because of the particular time, setting, environment, and place in which it is being undertaken. Nevertheless, all research endeavors. Share a common goal of furthering our understanding of the problem, and thus all traverse through certain basic stages. No, forming a process called the research process. That's why talan ng research na ano nagkalain lain mga ilang style, ilang method, ilang time setting, environment, but they do have share. No, sa niya tawag ng research. Process. Tanan na sila may natawag nga research process. Hindi pwede nga maglumpat kasi number 3 nga ay kakaagi sa number 1. An understanding of the research process is necessary to effectively carry out research and sequencing of the stages inherent in the process. So, importante nga dapat kabalo kita kung ano ang insyakto nga proseso sa pag-handak sa research because that will determine the the reliability and validity of your research. Okay. So, we have eight stages, no? Sang research process. Or, sometimes, it is called the scientific method. Okay. So, una, identifying the problem. So, wala ikaw sang i-research kung hindi ni mo ma-identify ang problema nga gusto mo pangitaan sang problem. Solution. So first, you should know what is the problem, and it started with a question. Second, reviewing literature. So after you have gathered necessary information on the problem you ought to study or you want to study, it's time for you to find related literature. Bos lingon mangita ka sa mga mga studies na or mga research na nga may relasyon sa imo gusto nga i-research or pangitaan sang solution or sabat. Number three, setting research questions, objectives, and hypothesis. So after that, you are going to formulate your research questions, your research objectives, and the hypothesis. Mga bakit ang objectives, amo na ang ang goal, no? Sa imo nga research. Naman, ikandak mo imo nga research. Then, hypothesis. These are the educated guess. Kung baga ang imong nga possible na gina-expect mo nga maging resulta sa imong nga research. Number four, you choose the study design or choosing the study design. Ano nga research design ang appropriate or nagakaigo sa imo 
nga research. Ni pwede nga ang example bala ang ang party is dibu ang imo nga suksukon pangkasal. So it must be in line with the kind or type of research you want to do. Number six, collecting data. No, sa pag-collect sang data, that will be the stage or process that you are to gather all the necessary data for your research. And number seven, processing and analyzing data. After you gather the data, you process, you organize, and you analyze or what are the datas at hand. Ano ba lang ang mga klase ng data? Ano muna sila? Dara masulod ang aton mga statistical, mga aton nga mga analysis, no? description, results, no? And the last one will be writing the report. And that will be the conclusion part. Kung baga, result na na sa imo nga ano, ano, ang, ano ang result, anong kabilugan, ano ang imo na hibaluan after maging ganda kang ina nga, research. The research process outline is a part and parcel of a research. It is an outline of your commitment that you intend to follow in executing research study. So, sa research process, ara ina siya, serve as guide mo. Kung ano ang sunod, ano ang sunod, ano ang sunod na mandason. That will serve as your commitment nga, nga, you will you will do your research religiously, step by step. Hindi nga kung natakan ka, malumpat ka na sa isa ka, Step no, it should be not to be taken for granted. Okay, so let us proceed to the ethics in research. Ano ba la ang mga mga guidelines no for responsible conduct of research no? Sa research ethics, ano na sa ang guidelines no or mga para tuntunan. Kung ano ang dapat panumdumon is alang-alang sa mga researcher sa pagkandak sa research. Simply, it means what are the do's and the don'ts of conducting a research. No, it educates and monitors the conduct of researches to ensure high ethical standards. So ini siya magiging guiding star sa researcher kung ano ang iya dapat, hindi dapat pagubrahon. Let us discuss the ethics in research. Number one, or letter A, norms promote the aims of research such as knowledge, truth, and evidence of error. Okay, knowledge, truth, and evidence of error. So, kamatuuran lang gid ang information kag ang mga ebidensya dapat ara ina. Next, ethical standards promote the values that are essential to collaborative work. Dapat, no, sa tanan nga aspect, no, sa aton nga, if it's not research, we should maintain ethical standards because it will reflect what and what kind or who are we as a person. No, it's very important in doing a work, especially if it's a collaborative work, it is very essential that we should have or we should maintain ethical standards. Next, ethical norms held researchers accountable to the general public. Remember that you research, it's not only for your own benefit but for the benefit of the society. Therefore, you should know that you are accountable of whatever result you have given. Example, nabala, makandak ikaw research about sa medicine. Tapos, why mugin observe ang ethical norms, no? As a researcher. Then, imugin publish nga ang bulong galing, imugin ubra, imugin imbinto, is wala pa na approve kag na pamatudan, effective good man. Then, imunagin distribute. Until such time may na patay abi, for example. So you are held accountable to that because you are addressing the general public, not by yourself only. Next is norms in research help establish public support, quality, and integrity of research. Okay, dapat when you conduct research, you should have public support, quality, and integrity of the research because. Some or most of the research lies ang kabuhi, ang safety sa kalabanan nga magamit or 
ma-benefit sa imo nga research. Okay. These are the ethical principles in research. Una, honesty, no? Honesto dapat, magiging tapat. By which it requires you to honestly report data, results, methods and procedures and publication status. Hindi mo dapat i-fabricate, i-falsify or i-misrepresent ang data. Gakatabo ini no, oh, sa iban nga mga researcher, sometimes hindi nila nagustuhan ang result sa ilang nga ganda ka research, ila gina manipulate, ginaliwat nila para magwa nga manami kag ay katama ka ideal kuno ang result nila. Pero were in fact, they were not really honest on the result or in the conduct of their research. Next, objectivity from the word objective strive to avoid bias in experimental design data analysis data interpretation peer review personal decisions grant writing expert testimony and other aspects of research so there's objectivity both lingon when you are conducting a research you should be objective of your 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 interpretation no towards your research. Hindi pwede, for example, abi, ang inyo respondent is friend ni mo, then ang iya nga response, amun ang nagwa sa inyo nga research. Tungod kay, kay friend ka mo, close ka mo, ma'am, baka ay panipinaminami ang kung iya nga response. No? You are being not objective. No? You are being subjective. No? Mga mga objective, you must maintain an biased environment. Okay, next is integrity or integridad. Keep your promises and agreements. Act with sincerity. Strive for consistency of thought and action. So, sa integrity, there must be a lot of example na abi, ma'am, bal ka nga ng sa imo respondent, ang inyo topic, abi, is about teenage pregnancy or mga sexual activities, no? sa mga respondents ninyo kay inyo mga topic abi ah, pili is about sex education then you you said to your respondent nga na um, ma-participate sila basta i-maintain nila nga nga confidential ang result mo sila ni ipagpanugid-nugid but still gin panugid-nugid nimo so dra nimo ma guba ang natawag ni integridad no or integrity kay you are not keeping your promises and agreements okay next is carefulness or dapat maging uh, maging halong or mahalong ikaw by avoiding careless errors and negligence na hindi mo pwede nga pabayaan o maging maging pabaya ikaw you must carefully and critically examine your own work and the work of your peers keep good records of research activities so sa carefulness especially sa experimental na uh, nga may, may mga measurements example sa bulong in your study sa mga chemicals nila, you should be careful by keeping good records of your research activities. Kay nakasalalay dira, mostly ang kabuhi sa iban. Next is openness. Openness wherein you share data, results, ideas, tools, resources, be open to criticism and new ideas. Mga salingon, bilang researcher, researcher dapat open ka sa suggestion. Hindi ka close-minded. Open ka sa maihambal sa iban sa comments sa imo upod sa suggestions sa imo upod. Okay, that is openness. Next is respect for intellectual property. Na dere masulod si plagiarism. No, never plagiarize. Kung inyo ginguaan sa inyo nga data is ginubra sa iban, you must cite. Dapat inyo giibutang nga ginguha niyo sa kay amoni sa ilang ni nga uh, study nga amoni para ma-avoid nimo ang plagiarism because everything written must have intellectual property and you should respect intellectual property kay gin pangabudlay na nila ubra hindi pwede pagkopyahon mo lang simply okay next is responsible publication publish in order to advance research no Actually, dapat ang ginapangkandak ng no, mga research, usually damo mga research nga pagkatapos research ang ilang thesis, ginapilak pa lang kagina, 
hindi na paamak. It's because wala nang naging publish. So, as a responsible researcher, you must share, you must publish your work. No, Avoid wasteful and duplicative publication. Okay, next is responsible mentoring. Okay, so you are going to mga mga mentoring, e mentor ni mo, or you help to educate, mentor, and advise students. Promote their welfare, allow them to make their own decisions. So, in conducting research also, if may mga madasun sa inyo, do not hesitate to help them, to mentor them, or to help them along the way in conducting also their research. And, please, allow them to make their own decisions. And, next will be respect for colleagues. O, respetohonin mo ang imong upod sa research. Hindi ka pwede magbida-bida ang ikaw ang mayad. Ikaw ang very good. Because there are things nga nabalaan nila nga waay mo nabalaan. So, you must respect your colleagues. Okay. Next is social responsibility. You strive to promote social good and prevent or mitigate social harms. Ang mga social responsibility, hanggang ko gina, kung nagkakanda ka sa research, ang resulta sa imo research, especially if it is product-based, it can either benefit or harm your users or the beneficiaries of your research. So that's why you must maintain social responsibility. Last will be non-discrimination. Avoid discrimination against colleagues or students on the basis of sex, sex race, ethnicity, or other factors that are not related to their scientific competence and integrity. Example, upod mo, negro. Tapos, ikaw ya, guwapo, lawain mo upod. So, hindi mo siya pag i-disregard or i-discriminate just because of their of their appearance. The same man, yung upod, medyo mahina. Hindi uman sa pag i-disrespect and discriminate because ka very good sa imo. You should avoid or you should be non-discrimination. Okay. And next will be competence. Maintain and improve your own professional competence. Mga maka dapat competence, ikaw mo sa lingan, you are competent. No? Take steps to promote competence in science as a whole. Meaning to say, never stop improving your learning. Hindi mag-untat toon, hindi mag-untat research by making yourself a better person. Next will be legality. You know and obey relevant laws and institutional and governmental policies. Buwag sa lingon, sundo ni mo kung ano ang ang legal. Hindi maubras ang research nga illegal. Example, ma-research ka about sa ma-create ka sa bago nga illegal drugs. So, siyempre nila pwede nga i-kanda kay bawal ina. Okay. So, that's all for the lesson one of our Uh, learning module then it has have activity one research in daily life wherein you are going to uh, make a two to three minute video no on how re research made an impact you as a student you can perform this as a group ang mga malapit lang sa inyo o ang lapitay kag mas kung comfortable ka mga open sila sa isa ka uh, performance task then you can have your 2 to 3 minute video. Ang answer ninyo, mga mangkot, paano maka, ano ang impact or ang 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 epekto, no, sa research, ano ang nakabulig ba ang research sa imo bilang estudyante? Sabto na nga pamangkot in a 2 in a 2 to 3 minute video. Kag isend sa messenger or kung malapit personally sa ako. Okay. Next is the research process activity 2. You are going to copy the organizer below and supply the needed information showing the research process. So, na-discuss natin to ang Waloka research process. What we're going to do is to copy this diagram or organizer and you write your answer Here, for activity three, based on what you have learned in this module, create at least five situations showing the ethical principles in research. Okay, 
So, ethical principle, i-identify ni Modri. May gindiscuss kita dito kagina. Asa ba about niyo? Uh, mga ethical principle from A to M. So, mapili lang ito sang lima lang. Then, isulat ninyo dari ang inyo napili kag example. Kag example situation. Okay, for example, honesty. Example, honesty. Akong ginsulat dari. Then, ang um, situation dari ho. So, paano mapakita ang honesty? So, ang duwaka researcher, gin-report nila o ginabutag gin nila kung ano ang matutuod nga resulta sa ilang nga research. So, sa pag-conduct ng ilang research. So, amo na ang example nga situation. Okay, you do that in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Siyempre, in English ang situation. Okay? You are going just to explain sa situation nga aman gapakita ina sa certain nga ethical principle. Okay, next. Depend. Answer the following question based on what you have learned in this lesson. So, you write your answer in a sheet of paper. Make your answers brief yet substantial. Okay. Number one question, what is research? Ano ang research base sa aton nga lecture? Kagina. Ikaduha, what makes research important to you as a student? Gaano ka-importante ang research sa imo bilang isa ka-estudyante? Katatlo, what are the things you should consider in conducting a research? Ano ang mga bagay na dapat hindi mo panumdumon, no? Isa alang-alang sa pag-conduct sa research. Ikaapat, why is it important to, for researchers to follow the process of research? Nga man, importante sa mga researchers na sundon ang proseso sa research to, ang baloto bala ka research, ka process of research. Nga man, importante ina nga sundon. Okay, let us proceed to the lesson 2. Ang aton na topic is quantitative kag qualitative research. Okay, to start with, you will answer activity 1, no? Uh, in a separate sheet of paper, you complete the table below by filling out the needed information. So, sa qualitative research kag quantitative research. By definition, ano ilang definition na doon ha? ang type of data collected, type of data analysis, and role of the research. So, you can find answer the read, the Riman Japon, sa learning module nga ara sa inyo. Bukaroon nyo lang kagbasahon, kagkupyahon ang sabat dali sa boxes. Okay? Next, for activity 2, you are going to enumerate at least three fields of research you would like to work on using qualitative research. Place your answer in a sheet of paper. Okay. Tatlo ka field of or tatlo ka fields of research. Ano ang tatlo ka fields ng research na gusto ni mo sa dihan? Example, sa science kuya. Ikaw, abiya sa technology. O isa to ya sa food. No? So, those are just example. Kamu identify ko ano ang inyong interest. Okay? Just list down. Then, let us start a discussion on quantitative and qualitative research. So, mga ambal kita ng quantitative and qualitative research are considered as broad categories in educational research. This could differ in terms of purpose, type of data collected, and others. Gagalain na sila na duha, no? In terms ang ilang purpose, type of data collected, kag any other factor no nga would differentiate qualitative from quantitative research okay so maghambal kita nga quantitative research no it is defined as a systematic investigation of phenomena by gathering quantifiable data and and gathering quantifiable data and performing statistical mathematical or computational technique amo na ang ang basic no nga nga concept may hambal kita ng quantitative while your qualitative naman research collecting and analyzing non numerical data amo naman niya ang qualitative okay from simple na lang ho oh, from the word quantitative no quantity mga bakit ang quantity we are talking of numbers or counting numbers that's why ang balya quantifiable data maisip mo masolve mo that's why may may ma-perform kita statistical mathematical or ma-compute kita that is quantitative kung qualitative from the word quality or kalidad 
No? Busling yun, you are going to collect and analyze or to describe no? based on your understanding of the concept, opinions, or experiences. Okay, muna sa ang qualitative. Quantitative, quantity, qualitative, quality. Quantitative, quantidad. Qualitative, kalidad. Okay, nakuha. Okay, next, we, let us talk about the comparison between qualitative and quantitative research based on their definition, purpose, group studied, variable, type of data collected, and form of data collected, and the role of the researcher, analysis, results, and the final report. Okay, sa definition danay, so na na-define ko naman kagina, is a type of educational research where researchers relies on the view of the participants. So, they are on the view of the participants. Ang definition niya, nag-rely niya ng research sa pananawan sa participants or on the response of the participants. While sa imo quantitative research, they are nag ang researcher na diriya ang naga decide ko ano ang ilang nga studyhan o researcher decides what to study diri sa qualitative ang participants ang ginabasihan o ang ginarelyan sang sang research diriya sa, sa quantitative is ang researcher ya ang naga decide ko ano ilang nga studyhan sa purpose naman niya ang qualitative aims to understand and interpret social interaction no understand and interpret social interaction ang qualitative ang quantitative naman niya that is to test hypothesis look at cause and effect and to make predictions amo sa quantitative okay for group studied smaller and not randomly selected Diriya sa qualitative, gamay lang siya imo ang imo nga imo nga studyhan or pili liun lang gid imo studyhan and hindi na siya gin ano ni sa random ang pagpili ko gin hungod mo gid siya pili. While sa quantitative, larger siya imo nga scope but randomly selected. Kumbaga, nang hindi mo siya gin hindi siya purposely gin pili. For um Okay, let us uh highlight this one okay for for variable for variable we have sa qualitative study of the whole and not variables study of the whole and not variables and specific variables studied naman niya sa quantitative ang sa qualitative kabilugan nga variable or ang kabilugan nga study hindi ang variable specific variables studied hindi iya ang, ang ang whole okay for the type of data collected sa qualitative research ang ginakolekt dira is words images and objects kumbaga quality gani s'yempre gina describe nimo using some words images and objects while sa quantitative research ang ginakolekt ni mga data is numbers and statistics kumbaga so, numero kada muon population or whatsoever nga related sa numerals ang ginakolekt ya sa quantitative research form of data collected sa qualitative data or sa qualitative research we have qualitative data like open-ended responses, interviews, observations, and notes. So, ang form ang ginakolekt, ang forms ang data ang ginakolekt sa, sa qualitative research. Example, ang mga results sa interview natin, ang mga short answer or open-ended response ng respondents, observation, no? Na notes, kag ang mga, uh, iban pa nga mga notes, true written form. Sa quantitative research naman niya, ang quantitative data as results of experiments. So, ang rin naman niya, quantitative data likes ang hamba kagina is ang numbers and statistics which serve as the results of the experiments. Next is role of the researcher. Ang role sa researcher sa qualitative under 
uh, sa qualitative research, researcher under uh, biases may be known to participants in the study and participants' characteristics may be known to the researcher. So, sa dali sa, sa qualitative, ng may time nga ma mabalaan sang sang respondent or sang participant nga may mga biases no may bias ang nagkandak sang research ang researcher the same mga balaan man sang 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 researcher ang mga characteristic or pamatasan or behavior sang participants nga nga ginkandakan sang ilang research while sa quantitative researcher or sa quantitative research, ang mga researcher dira are, ang ilang mga biases are not known to participants in the study because usually, no, di ba, mara, kita dira sa ginakapilapan sa ila sa mga example, abala ng mga, ng mga forms, no, nga, why na ito, nga ginabutang, ginang ilang nga pangalan, that is optional, that is for confidentiality, no, that is deliberately hidden from the researcher it's because we are not directly observing the the participants no sa qualitative sa quantitative research sa analysis naman mabal kita sa analysis that is inductive no inductive by the researcher deductive no by statistical methods mabal kita inductive from from simple to complex while deductive naman from from the complex or sa bigger picture to the specific okay that is for the results, in terms of results, in terms of results sa qualitative research, particular or specialized findings that is less generalizable, no, that is sa result. While sa, sa, sa quantitative, habang ako gina, kay inductive siya, uh, kay deductive ang sa quantitative, bose rin from general, generalized to, to general findings that can be applied to other population. So, diriya, kay deductive siya po sa lingan from general to specific, diriya to, to, to specific to less general. Okay? Because inductive ya ang qualitative. Final report nila, ilang uh, final report in the form of narrative report with contextual description. Narrative po sa lingan textual gina words, no? But, by qualitative, usually it is supported by Statistical report with correlations, comparison of means, and statistical significance. No, may alasang sa mga statistical application, no, on report, no, with correlations, comparison of means, and statistical significance. Okay, that's for the comparison between quantitative and qualitative research. So also. We have here observed um, questions asked sa ano ang lamang kot na questions sa sa qualitative is why and how sa quantitative kasi pre quantity numbers how many and what diya you are going to describe no or to to give the descriptive that's why why and how ang question usually sa qualitative sa quantitative is how many and what criteria we have here some criteria no for the quanti qualitative research and quantitative research for identifying research problem detailed understanding of a central phenomena detailed while sa piyak sa quantitative description of trends or explanation of relationships naman okay for review of literature you are going to justify the importance of studying the research problem. Then, naman yung justifying the research problem and the need to of the direction of the study. So, kinangalan mo siya nga pangitaan, gidya kong din siya padulo ang yung mga study. For specifying research purpose, seek to understand the participants' experiences. Then, naman yung seek observable data on variables. Kung baga, then, that is observation-based, no? Kung baga, scientifically, ini mas kumbaga mas mas objective ang quantitative kaysa sa qualitative for data collection of data gather words or image data from small number of individuals so dili ka gather sang mga data through words or images example pag ginama interview mga observation logs in observation notes ang mga sa collection of data dili collection of data using instruments with preset 
uh, questions from large individuals. Kaya rina, large individuals, so rina kay deductive to sila ang quantitative, dari uh, individual, small number, is because the, it is inductive. Okay. Analysis and interpretation of that data, text analysis and interpretation of themes. Dari uh, data analysis using statistical analysis. Dari text analysis lang, interpretation. Sa, sa quantitative, we have here um, data analysis no, using the statistical analysis or my solving it um, uh, computation. So, reporting and evaluation takes a subjective and biased approach, no? Flexible, emerging, structure, and evaluative criteria. So, there is sometimes or mostly there is subjective in this nga objective, no? Kaya may mga biases. Kis, uh, if it's uh, affected by the by the approach of the researcher, no? Kaya kung hindi nila magustuhan, pwede nila maliwat yan, pwede nila ma, uh, depending on their decision. While sa while quantitative, tend to use standard fixed structures and evaluation criteria. Dari, hindi sila pwede maging bias, no? It's because objective kay maging nasunod sila nga standard give nga evaluation criteria. Okay, that all for the comparison between uh, qualitative research and quantitative research. Okay, so let us um, talk about the examples of qualitative and quantitative research topics in the different areas of interest. So, among the areas of interest or field or areas of discipline, then sa piyak nga side examples of research both in qualitative ka quantitative research. So una sa medicine sa qualitative research pwede kita maka research about disease prevention mechanism. Ano ang mga steps no or mga mga procedures ka para makaligawan ang mga mga sari nga mga sakit sa quantitative studies on the development of vaccines for corona virus. So, dali ya, inasadihan mo yun kung paano na, na, na ma-develop ang coronavirus. So, sa quantitative. Sa arts naman, life and works of different artists in the Philippines. So, you are going to do research na sa ila, interview, observation, or or ang pagkadkad sa history. Then, sa quantitative naman yung experiment on gun paint substance and painting material. I-experiment mo yan ang ginagamit mismo sa art. Okay. Sa sports naman, common characteristics of children into and not into sports. So, describe ni mo ang mga common characteristics nila. Okay. While sa quantitative, development of materials to be used in sports. No? Uh, ano ang paano ma-develop pa pa namin ang mga gamit sa sports? That is quantitative. Psychology, psychology behavior of students in school ang pamatasan sa kabataan sa skilahan, then sa quantitative naman yung impact of music to the behavior of children. Ano ang directly, no, ang impact sa, sa music sa matasan sa bata. Okay. Business. For business, behavioral traits of product patrons in last 10 years. So, ilang nga behavioral, behavioral traits you are going to describe or identify, identify while in the quantitative research, you will be finding out the relationship between expenditures in advertisements and sales. So, it requires statistical method here. Okay, that's for the examples of research in qualitative and quantitative in terms of the different areas of discipline. Also, we have also here additional, no, sa agriculture, agriculture health benefits of organically grown vegetables to elderly, while there is a piyak sa quantitative effects of organic fertilizers in vegetable production and sales. So, while sa fisheries, fishermen's ad adjustment mechanisms during dry season, so ilang uh, mechanism, while sa quantitative, environmental factors affecting the number of fish fishes caught in a place. So, still, as you notice, sa tanan din sa ila, no, sa din nga field, but about sa quantitative, it requires really computational or statistical uh, method. While there is sa, sa qualitative, it simply describes or presents the situation or instance, no, that should be studied. So, usually, it is in a quality 
quantity or quali qualitative ang itawag is because it presented or it ought to study the qualities of a certain object or subject matter. The same sa ICT and the social science. Okay. So, let us um, do you perform the activity 1, identify me from the box found below, determine which item or describes or describe qualitative and quantitative research. So, ini sila nga tatlo inyo dili arrange the box kung diin dira ang qualitative from A to G, diin dira ang quantitative, diin dira ang qualitative sa ila. You write your answer man sa papel. Okay, next, for activity 2, you research in different fields. You enumerate at least 3 research topics under qualitative research related to your field of specialization that you would like to work on. So, again, that local research topic under sa qualitative research related to your field of specialization. Example, kung, kung TVL ikaw nga uh, carpentry, so mangita ka sa topic nga qualitative research no on about carpentry kung BPP ikaw BPP ikaw sa BPP BPP ka man example abi sa BPP ng coping mechanism of uh, bakers and bake shop owners amidst this global pandemic so, that is under sa qualitative. Kaya hibalo ni mo ang ilang coping mechanism or paano sila nakasurvive sa pandemic bilang mga baker kag taiyasang bakery. Tatlo lang ang isulat dari in English. Qualitative ha. Again, remember, qualitative. Busa lingon, you are studying the qualities. Okay. For the deepened part, you answer the following question based on what you have learned in this lesson. Una nga pamangkot, what makes qualitative research different from quantitative research? Ano ang kinalain sa qualitative research sa kay quantitative research? Okay, for number two, what are the similarities between quantitative and qualitative research? Ano ang ilang nga pagkapariho? Maduha. Number three, what areas of concern would you like to study using qualitative type of research? Ano nga areas of concern or field ang kaginagin discuss ko or just example na um, nga gamita ni mo sa qualitative research. Mamba ka sa psychology. Kung gusto ko mabalaan ang psychological um, condition sa kabataan nga nag-eskila uh, subong sa, for two years sa modular class. So example na siya sa qualitative type of research. Okay? So, Qualitative research, no lesson 3 na kita, you have to do activity 1, unscramble me. You are going to unscramble the letters to determine the word or words or terms hidden. You are going to write your answer sa papel kag ihatag ang ilang definition. That is from 1 to 5. Okay. So, let us discuss or let us talk about what is qualitative research? Ano ang maghambag kita nga qualitative research? Commonly, itawag siya nga interpretative research because you are just giving interpretation on the data at hand. Its method relies heavily on thick verbal description. Ang mga verbal, humbaga, sulat-sulat, no? Kailangan nila sang sinulatay, no? Verbal description of particular context being studied because mostly ang qualitative research is more on textual aspect. No? Okay. The characteristics of qualitative research or uh, design naturalistic refers to the studying well real world situation. Mama naturalistic, kumbaga, inasadihan ko ano ang mga natural nga mga nagakatabo sa palibot. No? Second, emergent acceptance of adapting inquiry as understanding deepens. No emergent ang mga naga emerge, no ang mga mga new mga new things or phenomena na naga occur. Then purposeful, kumbaga with purpose or they are um they are in great 
usefulness. Kung baga magkita nga, my purpose. Okay, these are the three uh, characteristics of qualitative research. Research, naturalistic, emergent, and purposeful. Okay, so in collection of data, collection of data sa sang qualitative research, we have personal experience and engagement. Bosling on, we can collect uh, data no out of qualitative research by using or by taking out from people's experiences or even our personal experiences and engagement or the way we we communicate or to interact with others okay next is empathetic neutrality an empathetic neutrality in working with study respondents seek various understanding without judgment so sa empathetic neutrality dapat you maintain no openness sensitivity respect awareness and responsiveness no in in observation it means being fully present or mindfulness so dapat kung empathetic neutral ikaw bo silingon irespeto ni mo ano ang response ng imo nga respondent no with respect and being sensitive and most importantly you have this mindfulness aware ikaw no and the next will be dynamic systems there is attention to process mga dynamic there is a process assumes change is ongoing whether the focus is on an individual or an organization kumbaga akabal ikaw nga nga may proseso plus the fact it is possible for some changes so in terms of analysis we have the unique case orientation assumes that each case is special unique case orientation bosling on you treat every cases na masugata ninyo as unique or amulang um, siyang case para mas matagaan ninyo sang importansya or sang sang value okay inductive analysis immersion in the details and specific and specifics of the data to discover important patterns themes and relationships from a inductive analysis from the from the very simple or specific up to the most complex no para ba ani mo ko ang aman ni mga interrelationships siya next is holistic perspective ba mga holistic perspective is kumbaga well rounded the whole phenomenon and the study is understood as a complex system that is more than the sum of its parts na Okay, kung bakit silang ginalan, tawag mo sa kabilugan. That is holistic perspective. And context sensitive. na Dari masulod ang pagiging um, um, sensitive ikaw, no? So, especially sa iyong mga, mga respondent or sa iyong mga participants. Okay. Next will be the strength and weaknesses of qualitative research. Okay. All the problems and the topics covered under this research are in detail. So qualitative can be beneficial using all the problems and the topics covered under this research are in detail. So detailed na siya. Natanan nga parte sa inyong mga research is case specific. Siya nga inductive siya. It should be detailed. Next, this method majorly focuses on small groups which ultimately do not require more expenses no mas barato mas makabarato ka sang gasto nimo kung qualitative kay ang focus niya ang respondent is tama lang kagamay or ilisipon lang next is on the emergence of new developed information and findings the revision direction and framework of the study can be done easily quickly madasig mo lang niya i-revise liwat to no kay words man lang imo gin or narrative then letter D the data is collected from a small group which bounds it to be universal for a large population so dali sa lang ba ko na gina ang um, sa qualitative research small group ang gina kuwaan or ang imo nga respondent nga ginakuwaan sa imo nga data 
Next, the data with this method is collected based on genuine efforts and gives a clear vision on what can be expected. Genuine effort, it's because at hand or kumbaga on site kumbaga personally na ma-observe nimo ikaw mismo nag ano da kumbaga hands on ikaw okay witnesses of qualitative research as the data is collected for a small group due to which assumptions cannot be made beyond the small group of pe people so din naman kay ang data nimo from the small group sometimes or it cannot it cannot represent o hindi ka maka-assume nga ina nga response nila is true to all. Kay gamay lang imo nga grupo nga ginkuhaan sa imo nga data. It becomes difficult to demonstrate, maintain, and assess the, the rigidity of the data. Kay diri ka katabukis ang nga galiwat-liwat ang imo nga data. That's why hindi mo siya ma-fully furnished nga pinupino gin nga amugin na siya. Okay, next. Collection of statistical data is not easy and cannot be done solely by using this method. So, hindi mahapos ang pag-collect sang statistical data using sang qualitative research. Kaya, kaya mga ingin na it is subject for any form of changes. As the data is in big quantity, analysis and interpretation of the data takes much time. So, mga consume ini siya sang mas dako pagid nga nga working time. The responses of the subject might be affected as the researchers are bound to be present during the process of data gathering. Okay. Kay, maapituhan. No, is, ah, ga-response ka agad. Tapos sa mga researchers, nahuya ka man nga amunin mo response na makita nila. So, ang tendency, imuliwa, tulong pa na yung minami, umi mo response para daw hindi man ma-offend ang researcher. Abi, kung ilang nga research is is something that is controversial. Okay. Let us proceed to the kinds of qualitative research. Una, ethnography. Mga ba kita nga ethnography used in social sciences that is often used in gathering data on human societies and cultures. So, gathering data in human societies and cultures, no? Ang ginagamilan sa ethno. On the word ethno, ethnic. No tao. Ethnography, simply stated, is the study of people na in their own environment. O ang pagtuon sa mga tao, sa tao, sa mismo nga environment nila. Direk is aga katabo ang ginatawag nga um, uh, participation observation and face-to-face -face interviewing. Ibang gani, naga-emerge o naga-immersion mismo, dala ga star mismo sa dala nga lugar para maobserbahan kini lahi mga collects lang insakto sang data nga ilang nga gina kinahanglan okay next is phenomenology phenomenology as they present themselves to consciousness without resources to theory deductions or assumptions from other disciplines such as the social sciences it seeks to achieve deep understanding of the phenomenon by rigorous and systematic examination of it. Its purpose is to describe essence of lived experiences. So, mga phenomenon, phenomenology from lived experiences naman na saya. Mga hitabo no, sa palibot o sa kabuhi sa tao. Next is grounded theory, an inductive technique developed for health-related topics. No? It is emerged from discipline of sociology. So, halin na siya sa discipline sa sociology. So, the term grounded means that the theory developed from the research is grounded or has its roots from the data form or from which it has derived. Kung baga mga grounded, may basihan. No? Dahil inabal, ako hindi naman naghalin ina, no? Nga ano, nga situation o ina, nga, nga subject matter. That is true inductive technique. Next is historical research. Historical research is the systemic collection and objection evaluation of data related to past occurrence. So, historical, dili ginabalikan or ginasadihan ang data from past experiences. Data related to past experiences. Okay. Next will be case study is detailed study of a specific subject such as person. Detailed study from mga case-to-case -case, no, basis. That's why it's a case study. It is used to test 
theoretical models by using it in a real world situation. Data study of specific subject, which is what we call the case study. Next, let's move to the importance of qualitative research across fields. So, the social work represents the best available research on emerging problems. No, Doon na ginapabaraan kung ano ang mga problema sa aton nga so social functions or society. Sa marketing naman, can be used to test new ideas or products. No, Doon yung handak sa mga uh, customers, ga interview sa customers, ga sa YouTube, no, di ba, mara nga, ano, product review, kung pinang review, that is for marketing, no, ginahamang, kutinin ang customer. Business, data from quantitative research such as market size, demographics, and user preferences provide important information. Do, ginahamang mo di, uh, gasorvi ka di, ang kupila, ang mga isar de ra, uh, ano sila, lis naga star, ang ilang mga preferences, ilang mga gusto, ilang uh, kinhanglan nun, so sa business. Interview man Japan or survey. Sa sports naman, research can inform stakeholders about facilitators and obstacles to exercise. Ano ang mga experiences sa mga trainee, sa mga trainer, trainers nila, so pagi sa mga mga experiences so, sa pag-interview pag sa ila. Sa medicine naman, na help gain understanding as how and why certain things occur. Nga aman, nga aman kag paano naga occur ang certain nga mga sitwasyon no sa medicine no example nga aman um nag nagdamo ang naglagnat dira paano sila nag, nagkalagnat then next is psychology quality qualitative research is an important alternative to qualitative research in psychology it generally involves asking broader research questions Example, i-interview ni mo ang imo nga kliyente, no? Through interview sa psychology naman. Arts naman is to reach new ideas and conclusions will help people improve arts, no? Paagi sa interview, pamangkot sa mga artist, maika-improve ka mo sa ang bago nga techniques or mga discoveries, no? How to improve art. For literature, um, di naman masulod ang mga guiding and crucial rule in the literative process between theory and data no, sa literature. As such, considerations as to when and how to use the literature acquire great importance. So, dali, sa mga related lets naton, makabulig na ang, ang qualitative research. For agriculture and fisheries, so, same in Japan, interviews are a key element of qualitative research fisheries scientists, no? Sa pag-interview, sa mga experiences, sa mga fishers, or sa sang mga tao nga related sa daling nga field. The same man sa agriculture. Okay, that's for our uh, lecture. Let us proceed in doing your activity one, show me. You're going to complete this graphic organizer by which you're going to provide the salient characteristics of qualitative research. So do this in a sheet of paper. For activity 2 naman, you search for studies conducted by researchers under the kinds of qualitative research. Follow the template below for your answers. Example, sa kind of qualitative research ethnography, then research ka mo sa internet, pangita ka mo sa Example, nga research title nga under sa ethnography, phenomenology, grounded theory, historical research, kag case study. So, research ini siya, pangitaon nyo sa internet or research nyo sa internet ang example nga title para sa kind sang qualitative research. For this part, you are going to briefly discuss the characteristics, kind, strength, weaknesses of qualitative research. Number two, is qualitative research important? Importante ba siya? Explain briefly and cite examples nga man importante ang qualitative research. Then for the number three, what do you think is the importance of qualitative research in your field of specialization? Gaano ka importante ang qualitative research sa inyo subong field of specialization? Kung TVL ka mo, TVL. Kung GAS ka, GAS ka. Kung, kung ABM, ABM ikaw. Okay. So that's for the deepen 
ng activity. Let us proceed to the the uh, post test. You're going to select the letter of the correct answer. For number one, which of the following is a function of a research? The correct answer for this is all of this because predict, explain, and describe are functions of research. For number two, which of this is not an importance of research in your daily life? Not importance. Oh, make changes, know the truth, see for life, correct. Ang letter A lang gid ang naglain diri. Therefore, ang answer diri is letter A. And essential because through research, we can gain essential things. Okay. For number three, which of the following characteristics of research utilizes proven analytical procedures in gathering data? Proven analytical procedures in gathering data. Number three is letter D. My analytical procedure. Busiling on. Analytical ang iya nga characteristics. Next, number four. Wilhelm reports the result of observation based on the gathered data in his research. He never tried to fabricate, falsify, and misinterpret data. What ethical principle is being shown? It's letter, ano siya? Si Wilhelm, she, he is honest. Or, he has honesty. Number five. It is important to follow the research process in conducting research work. Yes or no? The answer is Yes. So, yes, to effectively carry out the research work and to be systemic, systematic in writing your research paper. Okay. For number six, which of the following does not belong to the group? Does not belong to the group? Images, words, objects, simply, but ano na? Numbers, kay belong siya sa quantitative. Okay. What for on data is being collected in qualitative research? Interview results, observation and notes, experiment results. So that is only one and two. Interview results and observations. Letter B. Okay. For number eight, what importance, which importance of research is described in the set statement below? Results of research help us to mark out the thin line of between truth and lie. Siyempre, balala ng answer. It is to know the truth. Okay, letter B, number number 8. Number 8 is letter B. Results of research help us to mark out the thin line between truth and lie. That is letter B, to know the truth. What area of research is involved if you wanted to study the effectiveness of a newly discovered drug? New discovered drug, siyempre number 9 is letter a. Number 10. What area of research is employed if you wanted to study the behavior of children listening to a particular genre of music? It's arts. Okay. Number 10. Uh, no, it's psychology. Arts malafonia. Okay. For 11. What characteristic of qualitative research is employed in the situation below? Studying real-world situation as it unfolds naturally. It's naturalistic letter A. From the word naturally. Which of the following refers to a detailed study of specific subjects such as person, group, place, event, and phenomena? Phenomena, it's phenomenology. Number 12, letter a detailed study, it's actually it's a case study. Okay. For number 13, which of these refers to systemic, systematic collection of data related to past occurrences? It's historical. Letter D, historical. 14, which the following refers to the importance of qualitative research in social Work number 14, the correct answer is letter A. It represents the best available research on emerging problems or application of evidence in diverse population. And last number 15, which of the following refers to the importance of qualitative research in arts? Letter C, used in order for people to reach new ideas and conclusion for people to improve their arts. Okay, that's for the uh, post-test and this ends our discussion for the week 2, module 2 lesson. Again, good luck.
in doing your module answers for this week two.